It's important that after every performance or practice session that you remove the reed from the mouthpiece and it's going to be moist from condensation and saliva that you just give it a little dry, possibly a rinse under a tap and uh, just wipe it dry unless you're storing the reed wet in uh, sugar-free mouthwash or water, whatever people use. But keep the reed dry and put it back in its case. Next, remove the ligature. And uh, then you want to give the mouthpiece a little rinse under, under the tap with some water and make sure you don't use anything abrasive because any, any little alteration to this mouthpiece can gravely affect its performance. So once you've given it a rinse, you can dry it out with a little like pipe cleaner thing that you can buy from any music store. Uh, really easy, just pull it through and it's pretty much clean. You can also get the equivalent for a neck. This is actually a neck cleaner. You can see it's the size of a saxophone neck. Um, and you can also get the equivalent for the body of the saxophone. So like a pull through cleaner or something like this that you'd put in and pull out uh, to keep the pads dry and the saxophone clean. Mm -hmm.